Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. This video is the Scrappy Fabric Snippet Roll Challenge Episode 6. Um, and I do have a little update. This weekend got away, this past weekend got away from me. It was the, it was a holiday and um, I had planned to get this video out much sooner this morning. And so we're going to get into this really quick. It's going to be a quick video. So in the last video, I said I would um, measure how many yards I have, and I did. I have a little over six and a half yards already for this challenge. Um, and so these are those snippets here that I've already made. Um, last year, I did show like in the last video how, like when I do mixed media, I made a ton of rolls and I found this one, I shared this one, and there are others. I thought I had gone through all of them and I hadn't yet. So I found this at the bottom of the basket. I just, this was actually one very long roll and um, I, I cut into them so I can embellish these two stitch books. These are mixed media stitch books. Um, I do straight up fabric and thread stitch books as well, embroidery. So I do various kinds. I do have projects on stitch books on um, Saturday. So definitely check out the those videos. It does have a playlist. Um, this particular challenge does have a playlist. I, if you're new to this challenge, I highly recommend checking out those videos because it will give you everything you need as far as information and tips and ideas for the challenge. Um, you can start this at any time that this is just a great prep uh, side project scrappy project you don't need to decorate these now because um, there's if you want you can but there's gonna be I'm gonna have a lot of future videos especially next year maybe some in the fall after the challenge is over we're really gonna be starting on projects with these snippet rolls so I highly recommend um, trying to hold off on some of those if you can and just save them for this fall and next year. Um, you can use various sizes. Let me show you this. I found this. And um, so this type of roll I, would I use for embellishing and that's what I did with these two right here. So they're really awesome. Like this is re I stitched Reed and I added some dollhouse books. I love miniatures. I work with miniatures a lot in my projects and my dioramas. And I also make wood houses. And I added one of my weave stitches to this. Um, if I I find a lot of like sticks and bark and things like that outside I use in my projects. Just be sure to bake them before you use them. So here's some of my fabric cordage that I make, or twine, if you will. Uh, that's Queen Elizabeth. Some a button that I stained and painted, and this is a um, from my a heart from my painted papers, and I put a little bit of my like tea dyed. It's either paper or fabric. I can't remember. I think it's fabric. So this part feels like fabric, and this part feels like paper. So uh, some of my mosaics, some like flowers, buttons, a little brooch, little stitches here. So these are like one of the many things you can do with your snippets. Oh, so here's some like little beading. I had a lot of fun last year making this. Some spools that I put thread on and I even left a needle here. So it's like needle and thread little theme there. That would be cute for a stitch book. And these are little um, little food, plastic foods for for my dollhouse little thing I'm using. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay, and this one is one of my favorites. I love that. I think it's so elegant, like a scrappy, shabby chic elegance, if you will. Because <laughs> I do scrappy. That's me. And then a little key. So you can just, oh, these are so much fun, y'all. I, I can't highly recommend it enough. So in the last video I shared this, I made this roll from the previous one. 
Um, and in the other videos, you can see the other rolls I've made. And so I've got this one. Now this one is a very short roll, and it's just because it got crazy busy. It was I had a birthday last week to prep for. It was my daughter's birthday, and then Fourth of July. So it just got. And then I, Saturday I went to um, with Elizabeth, my friend. We went to a yarn store, and I'm going to be doing a review on that yarn, and it's going to be on the this channel. Um, this evening so it's just really I'm now I'm finally getting caught up and getting videos out again so this one's really short but I really want to talk to you about something about this <clears throat> before I let you go one of the um one of the things that I really stand on if you will or one of my themes is just using scraps you have you don't have to use batting for these projects and because batting is expensive, you can find batting rolls of batting on sale every once in a while. That's fine. But if you're new to like stitching, and I just want to know you to know you don't have to use batting for bowls. So what I did was I overlap this scrap fabric, and I love using denim because that's one of the reasons why I use denim is the durability and the stability of um, denim. Be and because half of the time I don't use batting. If I do use batting, a lot of times I use craft felt. And that works just as well. If you've watched all my videos over time, you'll see that. <clears throat> so, look at this. And isn't that awesome? And there's no stitching in that at all. And I used um, just Elmer's glue to get this down as a basting. And it's because of this denim too. I firmly believe that. So I will be adding a quilted bottom to this, and it will be a vessel more so than a bowl. And I was thinking when I'm crafting or sewing, I have like a little basket I keep like my scrap threads in on my desk. And when it fills up, I put it in a huge mason, mason jar, a glass one. And I was thinking, you know, I can't take that. It's just a kind of a hassle to take all that or even the basket when it goes stitching uh, meeting a friend at a coffee shop for that we do that about twice a month so I thought why don't I just make a fabric vessel like a travel one to take with me to put my threads in or my yarn scrap yarns in so I think this will be that eventually this may be one of the first projects I work on from these snippets in October and I don't mind waiting that long really so, but just keep that in mind, and I am going to add it to this one. I'll show this one, but these others, definitely check out. So, I absolutely love this one. I'm thinking this one's my favorite one so far. So, but I do have a lot um, of yards already. That's, I mean, I'm just like, wow, I was not expecting it. So, okay, let me show you real quick before I get off here. So th these two were just um, from a master board of fabrics, and I actually did a master board weave, fabric weave. Um, and it turned out great, and I broke, broke it down, and I made multiple projects out of it, including, like, little stitch books. And I gave quite a few away, I believe, because I can't find them, and I pretty sure I did give a few away so these are what I have left so I cut some of these snippets off this roll and I made embellishments for the cover and this one turned out to be like a little cluster they're like little clusters when you cut them and um, isn't this cute and it, I like how it kind of hangs over the side right there and it's real scrappy and the fabrics are frayed and kind of floppy and this um, stamp sticker backs to some of my painted papers so I'll probably add like maybe some paper pages or fabric I'm not sure yet so I'm probably going to maybe add this to Saturday's stitch book projects. i got quite a few stitch books to get through. And so this one is a weave stitch that I did. 
I like making wonky ones and I just added um, I get a lot of my faux plants at like Dollar Tree or Joann's when they're on sale and I used that so super cool and this is going to be a great one too and I love the wonkiness of it, the scrappiness of it some like really pretty fabrics layered in here I like that a lot so this is what I got and uh, hopefully next week I'm probably gonna have a lot more I think to add and um, so I do go into explanation why I link these together in the other videos so definitely check that out and these particular ones I'm just basting with a stitch these together and they're just temporary and um, so I can just like take them apart to use in various projects so but super excited I hope you all join this challenge um, again you can start at any time and this these videos are to inspire you and to help you like just come up with like different ideas and and um, tips and tricks and to know that these projects they're not hard at all they're just they're really great and they're relaxing and fun and it's fun to see how many projects you can get from these rolls and they're very scrappy <laughs> so I hope you all have a good day um, I'm gonna have another I'm gonna have a review video coming up tonight for the yarn and um, next Monday I'll pick up the project I meant to do yesterday um, it just everything just kind of got hectic you know and uh, I thought I would have more time to get these videos out and I, I sure did it <laughs> but I'm glad to be back on here and um, tomorrow we have a we have the I believe tomorrow's Wednesday right yeah so we have a I have a video coming up and it's the um, wild card Wednesday what's in the box and that's a new series and I've cre I'm creating um, playlists for all these series so so that they're convenient for you to find the videos and everything so okay well have a good day my best to you and yours and I will see you next time bye for now